Welcome back to the Bathroom Project Part 2. So I've made a little bit of progress since the last video, so I'm going to give you a bit of a look around and show you what I've done. First of all, all of the plastering is dry, beautiful, yeah? No thanks to the flesh. <coughs> right, um, put the shower rail up, the oval shower rail up. That's going to have two curtains as far as I believe. Um, what else have I done? As you can see down here, all this tiling has been done and grouted. That's what the tiles look like. Um, the other sink has gone in. Um, the waste is there. Uh, but obviously I need to get some taps, but it's all in, ready. Uh, just, just got the plumbing for the taps. So, uh, I'm going to give you a bit of a close-up on, on some stuff. Right, okay. Right, there's the tiles. Uh, gone three high, um, with a gap at the bottom for, for the boxing. You're looking at three quarters of a tile. So, on the other side, uh, probably going to have to go four high. I think it's going to be about two inches higher than what that is. Right, so that will have boxing. I'm not going to worry about that for now. Yeah. The other sink, both towel rads are, are, are plumbed back on and uh, fitted to the wall, fitted to the tiles, I should say. Um, the other sink's in, just not plumbed in. Well, it's plumbed in with a waste, just not plumbed in for the taps. We'll get new taps. Right. Um, yeah, a bit of a close up on that. Now, I don't know if anybody knows how you're supposed to go about that, but my shower is going to go plumbed into the wall and up the centre, and either just below or just above that rail. So, because you've got those there, I'm not quite sure where you're supposed to put the um, shower curtains. I presume you've got to have like, one on either side of that and then sort of like put them onto some sort of uh, rings thing there. Not sure how you're supposed to do that. Google it. Right, tiling. We'll show you a bit of tiling later. Just bear in mind, I am not a tiler. Right, I can do a good job, as you can see. No wrong with the tiles, is it? But I am not a tiler, guys. So don't give me any crap on me tiling and how I do it, because I'm not a tiler. I can just do it, but at my own pace. So yeah, I'm going to start tiling this wall here, yeah, so I put that 2b1 up there, that takes me from just below the floorboard, about 5mm, to the top of that wood is one tile. Now the reason I've put that timber there is so I can start tiling all that, right, if I put a tile, tiles on the wall at the bottom, I can't really go tiling above it because if they start slipping and stuff. So I can actually add those tiles at the bottom at a later point when I've done that uh, done that section there. So yeah, that's about it guys. There's, there's the rest of the tiles. 15 there, that'll take me about halfway, four high. Um, to about that, that point just there. Um, I didn't really want to go four high takes me, if I do believe, from, from there to there. Yeah. From there to there, which is, I think that's, it's not too bad. Three high is too low, just there. So I'm going to go four high because that is nearly four high there. So yeah, stay tuned guys because, uh, I'm going to show you me doing a bit of tiling. Oof, yeah, As I said before, I am not a tiler, so don't get taking the piss out of me, lads. And I've only got basic kit as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is just get a few tiles on for you. Um, one thing I should point out on the back of the tile, there is arrows and the name of the tile. They must all go the same way. Yeah, so the arrow's pointing that way. And what I'm going to do, I've got the wood there so I can 
get get a nice straight line. I'm just going to leave like probably about three mil gap at the end of there because the wall might not be dead level. So I don't want it running to the point where I chop out plaster. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. There's a couple of ways you can put the adhesive on the wall. You can either do it on the back of the tile or on the wall. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. As long as you use a heavy duty uh, tile adhesive when putting bigger tiles on. So, this stuff I have got, it is a bit... Getting a bit dry to be honest, I've had it for quite a few months. This stuff would stuff quite a bit easier, but this is a bit dry to be honest. Right, so When you got tile on, just make sure you put spaces in. Push it up. Right guys, there it is. That's all I'm doing tonight. Three, six, nine tiles. Put the uh, system back on there. Uh, left a gap down there for the chrome trim. Don't forget to do that. You know what I mean? Same here, look, chrome trim. So if you're not putting it on straight away, just make sure you don't uh, put the adhesive all the way to the top, get to wipe over. Leave that to 
at a later point I'll put the bottom ones on happy days and then just work all the way across got a bit of work to do yet got all this to do boom shaka hey coming on Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. You know it makes sense.